thing I haven't done yet, and it's kind of basic, and maybe I should have done this a long time ago, because I get this question a lot. How do you tune these things? Well, the instruction manual leads you through it, but, you know, reading about it is kind of, I don't know, it seems a lot more complicated than it really is. So I thought I would go through the tune-up process for an SB-102. It applies equally to an SB-100, a 101, a 102, an HW-100, or an HW-101. They're all exactly the same, exactly the same tune-up, okay? So I'm going to be using an antenna tuner and a dummy load. This is a Cantenna dummy load. There are others. This is another one. It's a, a dedicated dummy load with a RF output meter, which is kind of cool. First thing to remember is when you're, when you have an antenna that needs to be tuned and a rig that needs to be tuned, you always tune the rig first, the antenna second. All right, let's, um, let's just go through it. I'm going to go pretty fast. All right, ready? I've got my dummy load on coax switch number uh, setting number two okay oh wait no i want to go to the direct you want to always go straight into the dummy load bypass the inductor and all that other stuff so this is going right into the dummy load and we're just going to do 80 meters first of all i'm going to peak the driver pre-selector you can do that easily by just listening to the, the volume, you can hear it peaking right there. And by the way, this is going to peak at a different place depending on where you are in the band. So get a peak on that. Put your final kind of in the neighborhood of where it needs to be. And put it in tune. And I'm going to go fast because you don't want to be in tune for more than about 20 seconds max. Okay, ready? Here we go. And I see nothing. So I'm going to, let's see, wait, let's be sure this is fully clockwise. Oh, there's some output. All right, I'm going to adjust the final first, get a peak. Now I'm going to adjust the pre-selector. Look at that. And that's all there is to it. Oh yeah, we need to adjust the uh, loading capacitor also. That's the thumb switch. So back in tune. Now I'm adjusting the thumb switch. Man, that's a lot of output, nice. And you'll notice, if you're familiar with antenna tuners, you've got two needles. The one we were just looking at is the forward output. That's how many watts you're putting out. The other needle is SWR, and by the way, no SWR at all because we're on the dummy load. All right, so let's do that again. I'm gonna to go to 20 meters, get my peak, same place, and uh, put it in tune, nothing. I'm adjusting the final knob, there we go, got a peak. Now the driver pre-selector, got a peak there, and now the stump switch, there's our peak. We are tuned on 20 meters. All right. So now I'm going to tune the antenna. And this will vary quite a bit depending on what kind of antenna tuner you have or whatever. But I'm just going to demonstrate uh, just, just to show you how I do it. Your level does, should not be fully clockwise. You want to back it up to about 2 o'clock. Okay. So I'm going to, I've got my antenna on coax one i don't want to go direct because that bypasses the tuner i want to go to the the setting that will allow the antenna tuner to do its job so i'm putting it in tune oh look at that all right i should have known that was going to happen all right so right there you saw that I had the SWR down to zero. That is a perfectly tuned antenna. In my case, it's a Cushcraft vertical. So if I go back and tune and then raise the level, you'll see I've, I'm back to 100 watts, 
but very little SWR and I'm gonna just tweak it until I've got that as close to the bottom as possible. And that's basically it. Want to do it again? All right, let's do it again. From the beginning, we're going, I'm using coax two direct to the dummy load. All right, let's go to 15 meters, all right? I'm gonna turn the volume up so you can hear where it peaks. Right there. Okay. And um, full output, because we're going into the dummy load, that's safe. Now tune. I'm adjusting the final. Okay, that's peaked. Now the driver pre-selector, that's peaked. And now the thumb switch. There we go. And we did it in less than 20 seconds. So the rig is in tune. What about the antenna? I know the antenna is not in tune and I'm gonna move the inductor a little cause I just know that this inductor wants to be, oh, that's the end. So I think we're right there. I'm gonna take back the output to two o'clock ish. If I see a lot of output, I'm gonna turn it back even more. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to the antenna. I know this antenna is not in tune, so I'm gonna back the level to about two o'clock. If I put it in tune and I see this thing peg, I'm gonna take that level way back because I don't wanna damage the rig, all right? Put it in tune. All right, let's give it a little more level, just a little more output so we can see what we're doing. So I'm adjusting. Main thing I wanna see is get that SWR needle down as flat as it'll go. All right, and I think that's it. I don't wanna keep that on more than 20 seconds, all right? So I got that SWR to flat line. Now, when I turn it back on tune and bump that level full clockwise, we should see very low SWR and that's the goal. Okay, I'm gonna bring that level up now. And uh, at this point I can do a little more adjusting just to get that output as close to full 100 as I can. There we go. And we now have a fully tuned rig, fully tuned antenna. We are ready to transmit, ready to get some amazing DX73.